Good morning and welcome to another vlog. Before I get started, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Today I'm going downtown, I have a nails appointment, we're finally fixing these and I'm gonna do some grocery shopping, regular shopping, you know, what I do on weekends. Uh, I kind of look like shit because my hair needs to be washed that's tonight's task and I have my no makeup makeup on so I just have wait I'll show you the products I have concealer a little bit of powder on it and then the Mario makeup by Mario soft sculpt transforming skin enhancer this is just like a cream bronzer but it's very sheer and light so I really like it and then I just have a little Rare Beauty blush. This is the shade Nearly Neutral. So this is really cute. I should probably open it and show you the shade. This is the color. And of course I have the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter under it all. But yeah, I'm gonna go now. I'm not sure if I'm gonna Uber or bus. I need to check the bus schedules. I'd rather go by bus. And on my lips I have the Clarence Lip oil number four. It's the really pink one. It's almost done. I'm not obsessed with these. I don't feel like they hydrate in the long run, but they look cute. They also feel nice when you have them on. It's just that they're not repairing or really doing anything. So let's go. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to before the new Rewind, take it out of cue Innocence can be a young man's game Signed up for the Hall of Shame I Good morning! Today is Sunday I'm supposed to be posting a vlog right now But yesterday and Friday I completely forgot about it and then last night I tried to edit a little but my footage was dead and since I left it till the last minute I didn't have anything else to edit into the vlog. So usually I post on Sunday and whatever I film on Sunday goes towards the next vlog. But I thought it's okay, I'll push myself to edit today. So whatever I'm filming, I'll just include today. Because of that, I'm going to show you how I do my matcha. So you need a bowl. I have this one from David C. It comes with a little spout, which makes it really easy to pour into your drink. I also have my little wooden spoon and my little whisk. You will also need a frother or something. I have this Nespresso one. Uh, that I just put over there and it just froths things for me hot or cold but you can also have the handheld electric whisk I think that works too but this is just way faster for ingredients what I use is a David C vanilla matcha you've seen me get this in another vlog and some honey just to top things off give it a little sweetness and almond milk and ice so I'll just do an ice cube in the glass oh I also need a straw then I'll do about this much almond milk maybe a little more put the rest in the frother and while the milk is frothing I do the matcha part of it. I usually do two scoops and then I just put a little bit of water from the top, just about this much, and then a whisk. Now that it's all whisked and together, I just pour it in. I think I'm gonna have to transfer it to a bigger one. I don't have, I don't really have big cups. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, the milk is coming out of the straw. Did you see that? Then just top it off with the 
foamy milk and do a little So good. Ugh. I literally had the busiest weekend and I could have vlogged it and it would have been so nice. I'm just so exhausted that I'm like, you know what? I want to go cut my hair and just enjoy it, not have to film it or stress about having my camera, you know? Oh, I didn't show you. I got a new bag, other than the mat and nat from a few weeks ago. It's also from Winners, but it's genuine real leather and it has those like silver details, a big zip and two pockets on the side. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to show you what's in my bag. Remember back in the OG YouTube days when everyone would do what's in my bag videos? It was so interesting to me. I would love watching those videos, seeing what people carry in their bags. So, I think I'm gonna do that now. Mm. Okay, the sun's kind of in my eye, but what are we gonna do about it? Whatever. Okay, can't complain, I have sunlight. After months of darkness. <sighs> okay, so another look at the bag. This is what it looks like. It's a very huge, like, hobo-style bag, which just flops perfectly. It also has the perfect length for carrying it on your shoulder. You can't really do a crossbody or anything, but I'm not a crossbody girl. So, on my shoulder, but it's also not stuck right here. You know, it drops, so it's good. And there's the two random zip pockets in the back which are like vertical so i don't know why i would use those but they look cute and the tassels are kind of like the balenciaga bags i've been really into silver lately so this was a great addition to my collection my mom actually bought this because i obviously bought the other bag a few weeks ago like two weeks ago so i was with her she liked it i was like mom you have to buy it it's really cool it's really nice and then when we got back to her place i was like actually i'm gonna steal that <laughs> oh she struggles i always do that with her this is what the inside looks like it's just like a huge space and i really like the fabric on here i like that they chose an animal print or like um light colored beige lining because usually when the bags are black it's just a dark hole and you can't find anything so i really appreciate this i just have some random things thrown in because um i spent the day at my mom's yesterday so the stuff i bought or whatever they're all in here well not really there's not much so the first thing is this book women who think too much i've been trying to get into it i read for fun so i usually prefer stories romance something this is just self-help i thought it would help me but i'm just really not getting into it it just i can't spend hours reading this because it's just not you know what i mean it's not action it's not a story you don't want to know what's happening so i'm trying I've read about this much, which is nothing, uh, but that's why I'm carrying it with me because I want to try to read on the bus, on the train, whenever I can. And this is not a heavy book, so for this one, it's okay. I also have my Sony headphones that I got myself for Christmas. I still love those, no complaints at all. I'm obsessed with them, obsessed. They're very noise canceling. The sound quality is amazing, the microphone is amazing, they're lightweight, so they're not annoying, you don't feel them all the time. I love them. No complaints at all, this was the best purchase ever. Oh shit, this shouldn't be here. This is a necklace that I also stole from my mom, from her jewelry collection. It's this really old vintage, I remember seeing her wear it in photos from when we were babies necklace just a big cross necklace i thought it would look so good with like a plain black outfit like making it a little edgier you know it's oversized 
I think it's really cool. It also has these tiny stones. You can't really see them when you're wearing this, but up close it's like really cool. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. But do you see here on the edges? There's like a blue one, a red one, on the top too. I'm bored of all my jewelry pieces, so I thought I would steal some of hers for a while. Wipes and tissues, I always have those in my bags. Can't go anywhere without that. Oh, I have these glasses that I also bought from Winners when I bought the bag. When my mom bought the bag and I sold it off her. They're green. I can barely see now. I don't even know if they look good. But I think they're cute. Obviously, because I bought them. I also have this pouch that is always with me in all my bags. And this is like my emergency kit it's just a bunch of things they have some tylenol cuticle oil that's in a stick form this is from sally hansen it's not bad it's good for on the go if you have extra dry cuticles like me and hands because it's just not an oil it's not a liquid in your bag a nail file in a case i have a toothbrush and toothpaste i just have a little medicine more medicine i also have a little loxitan hand cream this is my favorite scent shea butter i also have a little cleanser sample just in case you never know this is one from mario badescu i also have a random band-aid that's been through it it's covered in makeup and crap i have two little whey perfume samples one is rue saint honore and the other is melrose place rue saint honore Ugh, I just, I'm obsessed with it. I really want to buy that perfume. It's on my wish list on Sephora in my hearts. Ugh, this just smells like gardenia. Individually wrapped toothpicks, because you never know. I always need one. These are amazing to have. I just bought a huge box. It has like a thousand individually wrapped toothpicks from Amazon. And I'm always refilling my bag. I have a little random lip liner. This is the NYX Natural. This is my all-time favorite lip liner. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Um, I've used this for like a million years. Probably like 15 years. No, not 15 years. <laughs> not since I was 10. I've used this, I think, for like 10 years. I've bought millions of them, lost millions of them always have a few here and there I can never live without it I also have a little mini benefit dandelion blush it's so cute these are perfect for having in your bag all the time because they're super lightweight it's plastic and if you ever need a touch up you have them I used to have a little hula that looked like this but it shattered I also have a little brush from Kiko Milano this thing came with like a little foundation pot and I just ended up putting it in my bag and this is how I use it it's my everyday touch-up brush and the last item in this thing is just my mini Charlotte Tilbury what is this called I don't know it's the mini powder this guy right here this is a really good powder I like the mini I don't use it on the daily all over my face, so I can't really give you a full review, but I enjoy it. I love the packaging. It's very handy. It has a mirror. Okay, we're down to the last few things. I have my Opus card. This is the card we use for the Metro and Bus here in uh, Montreal. It's on this thing, like kids, because for a while I was literally putting it on my hand because I couldn't trust myself. I would walk around like this because I lost it twice. And I freaked out twice. And twice when I lost it, I wasn't home. So there was no way for me to come back home. And I didn't have coins for the bus. Because the bus only takes coins. Uh, so that's really annoying. So I ended up buying like a pack of a million of these from Amazon. And a pack of a million of this plastic thing from Amazon. And now this is my life. Okay? You will see me clutching onto this for dear life. Oh, my little... What was it? Finger massage ring that I bought from Ottawa. Ah, this goes everywhere with me. I really like it. 
Oh my god, I also have three lipsticks in here. I have two of the Revlon Super Lustrous Shine lipsticks, the viral ones. I'm still looking for that one shade. Uh, I think it was called Sparkling Honey. It's number six. Can't find it anywhere. And I have this Chanel 434 Mademoiselle lipstick. This is Rum Raisin. This is probably like the one that's the most famous from the Revlon Super Lustrous line. Is it going to focus? And then this is number 007 Glazed Mauve, which is also a very, very nice color. But what I discovered is that Miss Chanel over here and Miss number 7 look exactly the same to me. I haven't swatched them or tried them to really, really tell because I was like running out the door and I was like, oh shit, these look like one another, so I'll just put them in my bag. And I left. But look at this. They're so close. I don't know if you can tell how close they are on the camera. Like the colors are really, really similar. And these were like, I don't know, six, eight dollars. But this is a Miss Chanel lipstick. But this is one of my all-time, all-time favorite lipsticks. It was a random purchase. I just wanted, you know, my first lipstick from Chanel. And I have no complaints. This is a great lipstick. It's a shiny, very pretty one. I've used quite a bit of it. I mean, this is all I have left. And I've had this for years. It's still in perfect condition. The color is amazing. The camera died. The battery. So I'm on my phone. But I only have two things left in the bag. So I was showing you the lipsticks. I was telling you I have no complaints. With the Chanel lipstick, I think they're worth it. If you can buy yourself one, why not? And the last two things are just my wallet and my key thing. My wallet is just a little Gucci from when they were trendy card holder. I love this thing. It held up really well. I've used this for years. It's in great condition. I don't really love Gucci right now. I think the bags that were famous, they were just a trend. I mean, I'm over them. They're kind of tacky now. But the card holder, I have no regrets. Like, it looks really good. This was bought as a gift for my mom, for me and my sister. And of course I stole it because that lady was only using it for occasions that no we need to use our things it was like dying in a drawer somewhere so i was like you know what fuck it if you want one one day that you really want to use i'll just buy you another one but i'm gonna use this so this is my wallet you don't need a bigger one here because you don't really have to carry cash i don't i hate cash so yeah and the last thing is my key holder thing this is from ferla which is a really good brand for bags and stuff. European, I think. We don't have it here. We have a few bags at Simon's, but we don't have the good collections or anything at all. And it's super expensive here. So this is just a little holder guy. I've had this for a million years and it just opens up and you have, I think, six key rings that you can just hang your keys on. Can you see? It's just like that. And you have a little slit here so you can put a card if you need to. Um, but I love this and I don't think I'll ever have a regular keychain because you just, you know, put your keys away in your bags, on your tables, on your surfaces without getting anything scratched or damaged. It's just all protected. It looks nice. If you only need your keys, you can just take this thing Pop your Opus card in there and a credit card and you're done, you know? So I really appreciate this. I've also done this once with the with the little elastic thing where I just... did this. So imagine it without the Opus card, just like as a, as a little holder guy like that. So you can do this too. This is just for really when you're not bothered and you don't care about anything you would have the opus card in there and the slit and the credit card and then this thing and you're good to go you can even buy a little gold chain and just do this with it 
It could be a necklace. Fuck, I'm gonna do it. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna do it right now and I'm gonna show you. Okay, so I just brought this as an example. It's just a little gold chain. And all you have to do is just... And then you just have your little tiny key wallet thing. I think it's so cute. Oh my god, it's like a tiny little purse. So yeah, this is everything that I have in this bag. Now it's empty. There's nothing in there. I think it's super edgy, super on trend right now. Okay, I'm gonna go. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel. Click on the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And go watch my other videos. And follow me on Instagram. Bye.